It's an unfortunate reality of plug-in electric motorcycles that they have not been received with nearly as much fanfare as plug-in electric cars. Battery-operated bikes cost a lot less up front, less to operate, and are way more fun to ride. Take the Zero Motorcycles DS, which cost $9,995 before the federal tax credit and costs less than a penny per mile to operate. Unfortunately, Zero's greatest virtue is also its Achilles heel. It's electric, and to keep the price low as it is, it's had to sacrifice range. Zero says its DS is capable of traveling 50 miles per charge, but if you throttle the throttle the way a real motorcyclist wants to, you're gonna get about 25. The DS stands for dual sport, which means it can go both on and off road. But because it's really burdened by its range limitations, living in Los Angeles, you can't expect to get to dirt without having to recharge before you go into the dirt, which meant I was driving the DS on streets. This dirt capability is problematic for another reason. It has amazing suspension travel, nine inches in the rear, 10 in the front, but that makes the saddle incredibly high. It's 35 and a half inches. And although this bike is light, it's 270 pounds and the saddle is narrow, I'm a tall person and I was still struggling to reach the ground. This bike's best attribute is its acceleration. It makes maximum torque from the moment the grip is twisted, so it takes off smoothly, quickly, and reaches speed very easily. The downside is that when you look at the dash and you're looking to see how much juice that just took you, it's like it evaporates. It's not real-time accurate. It's almost as accurate as calling a hotline psychic. You have to roll off the throttle, and then you're gonna find out how much juice you've really got. This voltage sag phenomenon, as it's called, doesn't need to exist. There are other technologies that are more accurate. It's just that Zero is really trying to keep the price down. And also, to make that price low, they've chosen to go with a brushed air-cooled DC motor as opposed to a liquid-cooled AC motor, which makes more power, and it doesn't have regenerative brakes. To appreciate the DS, you have to be a lot of things. You have to really want to do the right thing. You have to be green. You have to love motorcycles. You have to be tall. But you also have to be an early adopter who understands that you're buying into the history of Electric's evolution. Fun as it is, buyers of the Zero DS need to understand that they're buying a technology that is going to be outdated almost from the moment the ink is dry on their check. Electrics are a quickly evolving space. I'm Susan Carpenter for the Los Angeles Times Motor Minute.